Okay, we all know how important it is to get your knee bending right after your knee replacement. But what most people struggle with is that they can't move their leg actively with their muscles helping because the muscles are too weak to do the job. So let's cover a few ways that you can get your knee to bend without needing the strength in the muscles. This exercise is gonna be the best way to get your knee bending, especially in the first few days to the first few weeks after your knee replacement. So all you need is a chair and a sitting position. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get in a sitting position and bring your foot back as far as you can on your own. Once you're here and you can't move your heel back any further, leave your foot there. Now move your hips forward and increase the stretch across the front of the knee. Now this is where most people get it wrong. They hold their breath, they clench their muscles, and they just brace themselves in this position. But what you actually want to do is you want to stop, take three deep breaths, and try to allow the thigh muscle, your quads muscle, to relax and to feel the tension melting away through the muscles here. So if you breathe in your nose, breathe out. As you breathe out, imagine that muscle just turning into putty or jello or melting away. Any image that makes it feel like the muscle can let go of the tightness and allow the knee to relax a little bit. You want to do three deep breaths because that generally will take about 20 to 30 seconds. And then after that, if you're feeling like it's too intense, what you do is you just move your bum back and take the knee off of a bit of stretch. Now, next time you go forward, you're hopefully going to find that the knee will give you a little bit more range. At this point, do your same three deep breaths and see, can you allow that knee to bend even a little bit more after those three deep breaths? Usually it's your quads muscle and the tightness in the muscles that are stopping the knee from bending. So focusing on breathing and allowing those muscles to relax is one of the best ways to allow more bend. Make sure you're doing this exercise all throughout the day. Every hour or two, try five or 10 reps. What you'll find is over the course of the day, you should gain movement and flexibility consistently. Each morning when you start, it might need a little bit of time to warm up in order to be able to do this. But what you'll find is over time, day by day, each time you start it, you'll have a little bit more bend and a little bit more bend. And eventually you'll get that full range back in the knee and you'll be complete with your rehab. Now, if you want all things related to knee replacements, uh, education and advice, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will give you all the details of how you can have a successful knee replacement. Another way to get information is to join my free Facebook group. It's called Knee Replacement Success. The way to join is in the comments and description below. Have a wonderful knee pain free day.